Richard Trevithick was born on April 13, 1771 at Illigan in Cornwall, and that's where he spent most of his youth. His schoolmaster described him as disobedient, slow and obstinate. Even though he was barely literate from an early age, Richard showed a talent for engineering. In 1790, at the age of 19, he was working as an engineer for several ore mines in Cornwall. In 1797, he married Jane Harvey, who was from an engineering family, and they went on to have six children. His son Francis later becoming locomotive superintendent of the London and North Western Railway, which later became part of the London Midland Scotland. Several Cornish engineers were trying to improve the efficiency of the low-pressure steam engines then in use in the mines. The, re the main reason for the low-pressure steam being used was the standard of boiler construction at the time was so poor if the pressure was too high, there was a very real risk of a boiler explosion. In fact, if a boiler was built to those standards today, it would not be allowed to be used as a tea urn in a village hall. The standards really were that poor. Richard was one of those engineers and in 1797 he constructed high pressure working models of both stationary and locomotive engines. <clears throat> These were so successful he ended up building 30 full size engines for the ore mines. In 1801 he built a steam carriage for use on the roads and drove it up a hill in Cambon in Cornwall on Christmas Eve 1801. In March 1802 he took out a patent for high pressure steam engines for both static use and use as a locomotive. In 1803 a second carriage was built which he drove round London and he also built the first steam locomotive at Samuel Homefray's Pendarren Ironworks in South Wales. On the 21st of February 1804 he demonstrated his locomotive and won a wager hauling a, a load of 10 tonnes of iron and 70 men along 10 miles of tramway. One of the conditions of the wager was he had to undertake any repairs to the locomotive himself and without any help, which he had to do when the locomotive struck a bridge due to miscalculating the clearance demolishing the bridge and damaging the locomotive. He built two similar engines over the next couple of years. However, the cast iron rails proved to be too brittle for the weight of these engines. However, it had been proven that a steam locomotive could pull a train and over the next century, many miles of railways were built. Trevithick adapted his high pressure steam engine to drive an iron rolling mill and propel a barge with the aid of paddle wheels. It also powered the first steam dredger in 1806 and a threshing machine on a farm in 1812. Between 1816 and 1827 Richard worked in South America on various engineering projects there. Returning to England in poverty, he died April the 22nd 1833. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in a future video.